that you had created your own discipline in mixed martial arts, and it's known as eclectics. Now, what kind of fight style is eclectics? Well, eclectics is real simple. The pure definition of eclectic is to pull from many sources and to combine them. And back in the, uh, let's see here, back in the 90, 91, I would say, you see the Ultimate Fighting Championships didn't even come into America. Nobody even knew about it until 92, 93. So I was already in, in this endeavor to try to find something that was better. I had a wrestling background. I had a kickboxing background. But for some reason, it, it was very hard to put the ball together. I found myself when I got taken down, if I was on my back, I was like, man, I gotta get this guy off. Standing up, I did pretty well, you know. So what I ended up doing was I started looking into several different, very popular martial arts styles. And I started taking the, the effective moves, the things that people could use in an every single day street fight. No, because let's be honest, there's a lot of martial arts in the world. Yes. And there's a lot of martial arts that show a lot of different techniques, and a large portion of those techniques you can't really even use in a real fight. It's a lot of glam. So what I did is I took the most effective, penetrating type of stuff that I could find, and I stuck it all together, and there was no name for what I do. So I just pointed at eclectics, because that's what it is. Great. And that's, it. that's a pretty catchy word, too. Eclectics, I can just see it, you know, skyrocketing and making a big, big impact. Now, also, you're a promoter of Eclectic Combat, which is located here in Indiana, and it's the Indiana Mixed Martial Arts League. Now, if you don't mind, tell us, where do you see the future of that going? Well, I tell you what, it's, it's really hard to tell, because with me, <laughs> you never know what I'm going to do. Uh, <laughs> the Eclectic Combat is just that. Uh, a lot of people go to a mixed martial arts show and they already know what they're going to get. They're going to walk in, it's, it's going to be a cage fight, it's going to be the mixed martial arts scene, and that's pretty much it, right? Right, right. Okay. Well, our last show, you came to our show and you got your mixed martial arts scene. We had a submission only tournament going on in there, in the, in the ring, you know, right there in the ring. We didn't change nothing. We even had a pan creation fighting tournament going on. As well. So we had mixed martial arts, submission, and preparation all in the same way. A lot of great flavors coming together. Now you just mentioned pancreation. And do you see a future for pancreation tournaments right here in Indiana? I'll tell you what, we're in contact with the, uh, the USA uh, FPA, uh, Federation of Pancreation Athletes. They are looking for a place to hold the national pancreation championships. Uh, I'm trying to get that arranged, and me and my partner out in Dale, we're trying to get it arranged to where we can have it someplace here in the Kentucky area, because it would be huge. Fighters come from all over the world. When I fought the Pancreation World Championships, Shoney Carter was on my team. Uh, I had Brian Burns, who was a, uh, he was a trainer under Frank Shamrock. Uh, Shoney, or uh, uh, Carlos, uh, Carlos Newton was there. We had guys from, tournaments all around the world that showed up to fight. So I tell you what, if I can get that here in this area, oh yeah, I think, I think, I think it's going to be very big. It's going to be very popular. Well, do you have any, you have any inspiring, uh, oh goodness, let me see. Do you have any, any advice that you can give an, an aspiring young MMA fighter that's coming out that wants to get into the penetration aspect as well? Yeah, uh, sure. You know, there's, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of good uh, athletes out there. My advice would be, number one, don't get in a hurry. Don't just want to jump in every show you can jump into. You need to find promoters who are going to treat you good, provide you with all the safety gear you need. You should be able to walk into a show and everything be provided for you. And if you're not walking into that kind of show, then there's something wrong, okay? Uh, my next advice for pancreation, you know, we have a lot of people who love mixed martial arts. Yes. They would love to compete in mixed martial arts, but they have a job. They don't want to go to work the next day with a black eye or a broken nose. So pancreation is good because like when we did our pancreation tournament, there was absolutely no striking to the head. None. But every submission known to mankind is legal. Every takedown known to mankind is legal. So take your time. 
don't get in a hurry. Plan things out. And if you got a life, you know, if you got school or anything, get that stuff done first. The MMA thing will always be around. No hurry. Slow down. Train. Now, where would someone go to watch your television show? How would they go about finding out how to watch your television show? Go to g4tv.com. We have a website there. As soon as you pull it up, go to Human Wrecking Balls. Boom! You pull up the whole schedule. And some cool clips that I know you'll love. Now, ladies and gentlemen, one more thing just to prove how big this man is. I'm 5'6", which is not very tall for a man, but I'm a pretty good sized guy myself. Why don't you go ahead and stand up, Frank? Look at this guy. He's a sky stranger. Once again, from New Albany, Indiana, we're here at the premiere of the second season of Human Wrecking Balls. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig.